Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about vitamin C serum. I'll be talking about the benefits of vitamin C serum, do's and don'ts, things to keep in mind while using vitamin C serum, when to use it, etc. in this video. So yeah, if you're interested, please keep on watching. As we all know, vitamin C is an ingredient which is used in most of the skincare products which acts as a magic ingredient. It helps to even out the skin tone, it helps in hyperpigmentation, reduces dark spots and promotes collagen production as well. These were the benefits which we all are aware of. Other benefits are it strengthens the skin barrier, it also has exfoliating properties and it suits almost all skin types like whoever uh, I have recommended vitamin C serum has used it like oily skin types, dry, I mean I have a dry skin type so my friend who has an oily skin type she has used it and it works wonders for her as well. So yeah, it really works for almost all skin types. Vitamin C is such an ingredient which even beginners can use without thinking too much. Only thing is they'll have to store it and use it properly. First thing is uh, you'll have to store the vitamin C serum in a darker place or you can also store it in fridge if you want. Because if it comes in direct contact with sunlight, it may oxidize and it will not have any effects like uh, it's just like applying water. So you'll have to store it in darker place and the other thing is you'll have to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen if you're using vitamin C during day times. The last thing is not mixing vitamin C with any other ingredient which it should not be mixed with. I'll let you know some ingredients which it should not be mixed with. First thing is AHA, BHAs like glycolic acid, salicylic acid because uh, vitamin C has exfoliating properties and even a AHA, BHAs also has exfoliating properties and if both come together it will cause irritation, it will uh, become like over exfoliating your skin and it may cause redness and irritation. The other thing which you should not use with uh, vitamin C serum is uh, retinol. Retinol is also an active ingredient and vitamin C also is active ingredient when they come together the reaction is not good and it may cause irritation to your skin. The next ingredient which should not be used with vitamin C is niacinamide. I know niacinamide is really good for acne and breakouts. Even vitamin C is good for breakouts like if they are used separately both are very good ingredients but if it is used together it will trigger the breakouts and it will cause uh, more and more acne. Now we all know what ingredients does not work with vitamin C. Now let's see what works the best with vitamin C. The first thing is vitamin E, vitamin B and hyaluronic acid. When these three ingredients are used together with vitamin C, I mean separately hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and vitamin E and vitamin C like that. So when these two are used together, the effects are uh, increased. I mean a positive effect not not negative using these two ingredients together works the best but only thing you'll have to keep in mind is you will have to apply the thinner consistency uh, product first and then go with the thicker consistency for example if hyaluronic acid is thicker and vitamin c is a lightweight and watery consistency first you'll have to go with the vitamin c and then go with the hyaluronic acid that's what first you'll have to apply the thinner and water based product first and then go with the thicker consistency products one more example uh, which i can give is if you're using a hyaluronic uh, serum hyaluronic acid serum and vitamin c moisturizer so first serum should be applied because it is water based so hyaluronic acid serum will come first and then the moisturizer because it is thicker so vice versa whichever is thinner you'll have to apply first and then the thicker product so i personally use the vitamin c serum from saint botanica it is really good i use it every night and i i wake up with a glowy face and i really like this not sponsored to be honest so i'll just tell you guys which one is it it is their vitamin c 20 percent uh, e and hyaluronic acid professional facial serum yeah facial serum so yeah i use it and it's almost over so i'll definitely repurchase it or even try and buy some other brand um, vitamin c serum so that i can give a review of that serum as well so yeah for me this works really well you can use any brand vitamin c serum everything works the same until any extra ingredient is added so yeah that's what i use now let's see how to use a vitamin C serum. 
uh, firstly you'll have to obviously wash your face and then apply your toner as you must have already seen in so many uh, reels or shots or even youtube videos that applying any skincare product on damp face works wonders so first dampen your face with some rose water or any toner of your choice whatever is available sorry for that noise uh, so any toner whatever is available for uh, sorry available just damp your face and then go with the vitamin c serum after that let it sit for around 10 to 15 minutes let it soak into your skin and then apply a thick layer of moisturizer no matter what skin type you are no matter if you're oily skin uh, dry combination normal any skin type will have to apply a moisturizer you, uh, you just you try and apply a moisturizer for one or two weeks and you will definitely see a difference because i have seen a difference i used to never apply a moisturizer until my skin st starts peeling but i have used moisturizer since almost two months now and my skin definitely feels better and plump so i i never skip the moisturizer step so yeah that is how you use it like any other regular serum only thing you'll have to keep in mind i think this is the second time i'm telling the same thing in this video but it's very important if you're using vitamin c during daytime you'll have to top it up with this broad uh, broad spectrum sunscreen or you will have sunburns or irritations for sure so please don't take risk and use a broad spectrum sunscreen i would prefer uh, to use it at night because uh, skincare works best at night because if you go out you uh, during daytimes you go out and due to the pollution and dust skincare will obviously not work during morning time that's what i feel so i always use the skincare at night this uh, kind of active ingredients are best when it is used at night so yeah it is up to you if you want to use it at morning but please apply a sunscreen that was my short and sweet uh, video on vitamin c i hope it was informative let me know what other videos you want me to do i'll definitely uh, provide some of the vitamin c serums which i have used or some of my friends have used and uh, which has worked well for them in the description box below please do check it out if you like this video please give a thumbs up and comment down what other videos you want me to do don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because it's free thank you bye